Hello, my name is Pat Hennan. I'm with the Shelter Institute. Today we're going to talk about traditional framing versus timber framing. So all methods of framing have their place, whether it's stick framing or timber framing or straw bale or heavy steel or concrete block. All of these uh, methods of construction have a place that has to do with a whole bunch of factors that are local to where it's being built. Advantages of timber framing are first of all that there are so many fewer pieces. Notice the difference. There's actually considerably less wood total in a timber frame than there is in a stick frame building. Stick framing did evolve because of the economy, because of the availability or non-availability of trees, because of uh, pressures in labor, unions, all kinds of things that don't really have to do with the actual construction of the building. So as I said, any method is all right as long as the engineering specs are met. So the first thing that's obvious is the fewer pieces. The second thing is that <clears throat> today's modern timber frame gets covered with SIP panels so that when you're done, the entire frame is visible. The third thing that is uh, very personal is just the joy of cutting out a timber frame. Instead of using a very noisy circular saw, cutting out the same piece over and over and over again, we have very few pieces that we know are going to be mated in a certain way to erect the building. Basically, we're going to be building a bent of a building, which is the cross section. And <clears throat> for instance, on this one, there are four of these bents. If they're 10 feet apart, that gives you a 40 foot building. So it's just four simple frames that give you the whole structure. By having all of the insulation like SIP panels on the outside of the frame, there's no conduction of heat from inside to outside. Over here we have an enormous amount of wood conducting heat from inside to outside. The only places that are insulated, of course, are the 16 or 23 inch spaces between the studs. So as you, if you picture all of this wood, it is a lot of uh, heat loss. Here, <clears throat> not only does the wood not conduct because it's not part of the insulating pattern. The insulation is on the outside of it. So it, <clears throat> the wood actually becomes part of the mass of the house. So when it's uh, 72 degrees, when all of this is 72 degrees, it stays that way because the insulation is on the outside of it. The process is uh, actually quite simple. You might take 10 days to cut out all of these timbers. And then in one day, <clears throat> you simply lock them all together. And you lock them all together <clears throat> next to the building, one on top of the other, and then simply tip them up. So here we will have done that four times, and it happens in about four hours. So the whole frame goes up in no time at all. This will take quite a few more days than that <clears throat> to do. The uh, <clears throat> timbers are attached to each other, again, according to engineering. You know, what is it that you're trying to do? If this timber frame is covered with SIP panels, it's extraordinarily strong. It's hurricane resistant, it's earthquake resistant. So these timbers are, as I said, engineered, but typically, we would have mortise and tenon joints. <clears throat> we have a tenon going up here into the beam. We will have pegs going through. <clears throat> All of these are designed so that the uplift of wind trying to blow it away, the push of wind on the side trying to shear and bend it are all calculated so that there is the right amount of wood left at, at each joint. And <clears throat> if necessary, uh, steel will be added. Certainly when the sips are attached to the outside, we first of course cover the whole building with a fire code drywall, <clears throat> and then we add the sips on the outside of that. The sips are screwed in with hundreds of screws that go into all of these timbers <clears throat> so that we almost have two houses uh, together. Extraordinarily strong construction. The advantage to a stick frame construction is that most of the construction uh, industry knows how to build this, but does not know how to build this. So this is very common and easy to find. Subdivisions with hundreds of homes in them are all built like this. I have to say that when I see uh, hurricanes or tornadoes or whatever, <clears throat> we often see these homes easily blown apart. A timber frame with sips <clears throat> would not do that. It would be a lot stronger, a lot more resistant. A very local difference between a timber frame and a stick frame is that all of the materials can be coming from your own lot. If you had uh, 80 trees <clears throat> available, all of them could be milled right on your site and you would have a home that comes right from your own property. With these, it would take an extraordinary long time to mill out every one of these two by fours. So they, that's, this is done in production and there's industry that does that lickety split. <clears throat> so it's kind of a different ambiance, if you, if you will. 
Another difference is that in a timber frame, with the frame being inside, you have the joy of looking at the live wood that had been in your own forest. It's also a lot uh, more dampening of noise. Here we're looking at a kind of a gypsum palace with lots of flat uh, drywall surfaces. <clears throat> it doesn't have the romance uh, for some people uh, that the timber frame does, but I've met plenty of people who don't like looking at wood, so for them a timber frame would not be the right answer. But the, uh, the cathedral ceilings, the, the wide open spaces that a timber frame gives you are quite attractive. So people ask uh, me often, uh, how do I get started on something like this? Well, for the past 45 years, I've been teaching people how to design and build uh, their own timber frames. We have uh, five classes a year where we build an entire frame five times a year. I think there are several hundred frames out back. <clears throat> no, just kidding. <laughs> In five days, you'll meet some 20 other people who, like you, didn't know anything about timber framing. And in those five days, you will be a timber framer. <clears throat> you will know how to do it, and you will be just dying to get to your house site <clears throat> and, uh, and build. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, <clears throat> the address is shelterinstitute.com. You can look us up online, uh, <clears throat> and we look forward to seeing you in a class. Mm -hmm.